Phase Zero for the Atari Jaguar. Uh, this game was released by BNC, which can be reached at www.myatari.com. Just a little note. So here, let's jump in here. We've got some options. Uh, we've got Restore Mission, which is if you save the mission. Uh, you could restore it here. Potentially, here's where you'd save that mission. I haven't tested it, though, so I'm not sure if it actually works. It might, but who knows. Demo mode is actually pretty lame. Uh, it just shows your guy out, your little ship out there, and he doesn't even fire at any ships, but they fire at him, so it's actually pretty dumb. So I won't show you that. Uh, here we can choose the different audio options, um, either stereo surround or mono. Obviously we want, we want stereo, it doesn't make sense to go with mono at all. We'll just go back and uh, enter combat is where we'd actually start the game on mission 1. And the mission briefing is pretty self-explanatory. Find out what the mission is. Uh, it says the time, the date is year 2000, which is a little out of date there. Let's go back to the network though. Apparently you should have been able to network this game, but as it is right now in this state, it just goes to a black screen and sits there, so no point there. Let's just go ahead and enter combat. And this screen, for some reason, I just love. I like the music that goes with it, and I just like how it, the appearance. Alright, let's just jump right in the game here. Um, you can see the little air, see those little that little target in the kind of in the center there. That's actually where we need to get to. That's where um, uh, basically our goal is on this level. Of course, these guys are going to get in the way, so we'll go ahead and take care of them. The cool thing is the environments are semi-destructible. You can. Uh, start the trees on fire, and they'll actually burn out, and there'll just be burned stubble left over. Uh, the action is really fast on this game, very quick paced, frame rate is awesome, graphics are fantastic, really a show of what the Jaguar can do. Again, just all these things on the screen, and you can still see the frame rate is fantastic. Alright, well, as soon as we've taken care of this guy, we're going to go ahead and we found our way up to, up to the top of the mountain where our, um, our goal is. Right there it says that at the top nav point A reached, uh, that's what we wanted to get to. There's something off in the distance near the uh, mountain there, we'll go check that out. And it appears to be some sort of waving robot of some sort, but anyway, that supposedly signifies the end of the level. And the mission was successful, of course. Gives you some stats and everything. Alright, well, it actually, after each mission, it just kicks you back out to here, and then you can go ahead and just enter the combat, like right there. So, it's not kind of a fluid transformation into the next level. Uh, here we have the next level, there's some water, which is kind of cool, it's flowing, of course. Again, the surroundings are just great, and I uh, hope you're ready for a pretty intense firefight here. I'll just uh, be quiet while I play. Again, just a bunch of things going on at the same time. This is actually an interesting find right here. At the time, um, I actually didn't know what those things down there were, and so I tried shooting at them, and they wouldn't. They wouldn't. Just be, uh, I couldn't kill them or, or blow them up. Turns out they're actually extra weapons, which come in handy. There's some missiles, and I believe those other little orb thingies are maybe extra shield power or something like that. We're getting a little further here in the second level, trying to find, uh, and there's our, our des destination. Move up to it, and the mission ends. I don't remember what the exact goal was, but it doesn't really matter. So 
So this little, this third level is a little more mountainous. Looks kind of cool, actually. And you cannot actually go up those mountains. Uh, you have to find somewhere that some sort of ramp. But right here, as you see, these little pod thingies are those are part of the goal of this level. You have to destroy those, and then you've reached another nav point. I, th I believe there are three nav points on this level. There's another one of them. Now this is a little interesting note I, I actually just found out while I was playing. Um, you can switch to different weapons here. Uh, what I'm switching to using the option button and the arrow keys. Right there is kind of like a double shot and I believe it's more powerful than the standard one as well. You, can al you also have mission, shield, and map. Um, the map is obviously kind of cool. The flashing little light there shows your neck where you need to go next, your next nav point. So, this is our uh, last nav point right here. Destroy all the little whatever they are, and we should be able to head on to the next level afterwards. All right, this next level, the goal is to actually um, go to each of these these nav points. I believe there's five of them in this level, and basically just destroy all enemies around them. And the nav points are designated by these little pods of some sort. And this level gets pretty difficult with all the enemies around. Gotta love the palm trees. And here I'll show you uh, a couple of the other missile weapons that you can get right there. So those help a little bit. Uh, the next level here is uh, Swamplands. Again, the trees can burn, which is pretty cool. And middle of, middle of the screen there, it shows where we need to be heading. I'll use the map a little bit to make sure, see how far I've got to go. Of course, some enemies come and try to make an appearance and try to take me out. So right here, I'm trying to find the uh, nav point again, the, the final one actually. And as you'll see, must be an error because I can't actually get to it, which is really too bad. And so it must be a glitch in the game of some sort. Basically, after I went on and tried to find that, uh, try to get that nav point, it froze right here. So. Um, basically froze like that for the rest of the game and just went to this black screen. So anyway, that's phase zero. A uh, pretty cool game. Go buy it if you can.